welcome to episode 15 of the Lady Wing Stitches Floss Tube. My name is Zakia, and everywhere that you can find me on the interwebs is down below in the drop down box. It's pretty much Lady Wing Designs everywhere or some iteration of that. How y'all doing? It is November, finally. We are here, we have made it to the best month of the year, of course. <laughs> so um, I hope you are all doing really well. I hope you're crafting mojos, whether it's stitching, knitting, whatever. I hope you're enjoying all the crafts. Um, I hope the weather is nice wherever you are, whether it's fall or spring for you. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not that bad. Um, we had one day, was that Thursday? It was insane. Um, my parents came down to visit this past weekend because um, it was fall break, so I was out of class Thursday and Friday, and my parents came down to um, hang out for a couple days, and um, they woke up, I'm from Tennessee, so they woke up, um, and it was snowing, which was not expected, so whatever, we had one super cold day, and now it's back to tolerable fall weather so there's your weather update um yeah it's november the 3rd 2019 it's a sunday um sunday morning i um i went ahead and got ready for the morning and then decided it is time to film a floss tube i wanted to film one at the end of october to um kind of re-mention the birthday style before it happened and of course that of course <laughs> every time I plan something like that it never goes to plan so I'm not really surprised but it's okay November is here as I knew it would be so um, let's get into the stuff so uh, admin the first big thing obviously is my birthday sal. Um, it will run from November the 1st to November the 30th, 2019. So a month long sal. <clears throat> um, the hashtag, I'll put it on the screen, is hashtag ladywing turns 23. The number is 23. Um, that's how old I'll be this year. My birthday is on the 26th. I'm sure someone will um, want to know. So. November 26th is my birthday. It's a Tuesday this year. I, I think I... Do I have a test that day? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so 26th, the end of the month. Right, birthday Sal. So, um, obviously, I'm saying Sal because I'm hosting it on the Floss Tube channel, so it's mainly stitching but if you are a knitter a spinner a crocheter a weaver yarn dyer fabric dyer um whatever feel free to join in um same concept for everything so it doesn't have to be stitching if you want to do some other craft do it i love it i love it all so basic premise behind this work on something that yours truly would so love um or it could have an element of that something in the project. So if there's something yellow in the project, or you're using yellow thread, um, if it has butterflies, elephants, if it's Harry Potter themed, Gilmore Girls themed, if it's just generally nerdy, if it's snarky or like submiss, su oh Jesus, subversive, you got, anyway, <laughs> subversive patterns. Um, Oh, that just totally blew my entire train of thought. <laughs> um, what was I about to say? Lost it. Anyway, it's not hard to find something that will work for this sal. I am so easily entertained. I, I love almost everything. So don't worry. If it's on linen, honestly, if it's on linen, you're good. If it's on even weave, you're good. If it's on Ada, you're also good. Honestly, even if it's on like perforated paper or some other weird fabric, there's probably some element that you can use. Like y'all do not overthink this. If it's monochromatic, if it's colorful, like they're, yes, they're complete opposites of each other and they're both totally acceptable. <laughs> if it's a full coverage piece, like seriously, it's so open, y'all. So, so, so open. Um, and like I said, same thing for other crafts. Um, 
knitting wise and crochet wise I will say just because I do those things um, most often they're kind of the backup craft if I'm not stitching lately so I'll just mention um, I love shawls I love socks I love garments um, cardigans sweaters whatever um, yeah like you know everything's open if it's a certain technique that you want to use I love garter I love stockinette I love brioche um, I really want to learn how to double knit. You can use that. I love lace or cables. Like, literally, <laughs> just stitch on something, knit on something, craft something, and hashtag it Lady Wing Turns 23. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of celebrate the community and all the awesome things we're doing, but also I just want to see stuff that I would love because <laughs> it's my birthday. So. That's that. I hope to see you guys joining along on Instagram. Um, if anyone wants to, uh, if anyone is on Ravelry and y'all want to um, have a thread in the Ravelry group to post things, if you're knitting or crocheting, crafting things um, on there, I will let me know. And if there seems to be enough interest for it, I'll start a thread over there. I do need to film a podcast, and then maybe that would help get some people wanting to do that, but we'll see. There's a lot of stuff happening this month. It's super busy. As I'm sure y'all know, the last two months of the year are always crazy busy for everybody, I feel like. So, yeah, that's that. Um, the, other, the only other thing of admin that I had was um, this giveaway that I did the last episode, and I'm super behind because I've just been busy but I will be sending out all the giveaways hopefully this week I'm gonna try to sit down tomorrow and gather addresses message people all that stuff so anyway last episode I um, did a quick little flip through of some of the patterns that were in this one before I offered it up for giveaway and um, I'll pop in the picture that I took from when I did the uh, YouTube random comment picker and surely you won this so um yeah i think i already have your address from the ones before because you won something there too so i will get that out to you um i there were only like four comments in the last video where people use the word autumn so i just assume that all four of you wanted to be for the giveaway surely if you possibly we're just commenting about your love for autumn <laughs> um let me know and i can redraw for that but congratulations shirley okay you ready that was all the admin stuff let's get into the goods the goodness the goodness of it all oh darn okay actually we're gonna pause because i totally forgot to grab something um yeah so one second Okay, got that. Um, before we get started, I also want to mention I am wearing um, a knitted hat that I knitted myself. The pattern is um, Brimish by Sarah Shira, um, who is Imagine Landscapes. I will pop in a picture somewhere um, that I took of it after it was finished. It's one of my favorite hats to wear. I love it. Um, so in this pattern, it's just a basic stockinette hat st um, with some decreases at the top. And she has, it's called brimish because she has six different brims. So this one's like a faux cable. Um, and there are five other ones. And then she has it written for both beanie, which this one is, or slouchy. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty great. And she has... I can't remember if that pattern's out yet or not, um, but I know that she's doing a mitten version as well, and I think she's naming it Cuffish. I think it is out, um, but it's the same concept, so it's mittens, um, and there are six different cuff patterns. Anyway, um, I'll try to remember to link my project page for that. So first thing, cross-stitch-wise, is UFOs. Uh, I mentioned at least in the last episode, I'm pretty sure, anyway, uh, that at some point I mentioned 
I UFO to butterfly effect. So while I was getting everything ready uh, to film today, this morning, I was getting stuff ready to film and I was setting up my paper calendar for November and I just said, you know, that one needs to be UFO too, at least for the moment. So I'll pop in a picture of what the pattern looks like. This is um, mystery, no, mystery is not even, no, mythical, <laughs> medieval, mythical mansion, anyway, there's three words, they all start with M, mythical, medieval mansion, I think is what they are, um, and it was a mystery stitch along, so it was a style. Um, the fabric was dyed by Lakeside Needlecraft and the pattern was by Tiny Modernist. So you can't, well, you can kind of see it, um, appears more of a grayish blue and then the bottom, um, is a green. It kind of fades into it to look like the background there. So I did get the special fabric for it. This is... 32 count even weave. Um, it's a printed fabric. The color is Misty View. So you can see it's just white on the back. It is a printed fabric. So, um, yeah, I just, and I was super excited to start this one and to be a part of it. And I just never really got into it like I wanted to. So I was working with uh, the borders that they had given us. So I started here in the center and worked out and then had some of that um, side done and this was like starting the tree that's on the edge. Um, but yeah, that's all I've ever done and I think I've only ever touched this project like three times maybe. And that's all I have. So I'm just going to UFO it for now. I never really have the... the uh, desire to work on it and I'm not quite at the point where I want to rip it out and do something else with it. So it's just getting UFO'd for right now, which sucks, but now it's another line on my calendar that I can use, um, which was actually perfect. So anyway, that got UFO'd. Now, let's talk about some stuff that I actually have been successful with. So, whips. Um, first one, I am keeping it in my creative is mess Creativity is Messy um, sleeve from Love You More Studio. Oops. Okay, did not think about this. Hold on. Just lost my magnet. Um... Okay, so this is my newest full coverage piece. It's a, um, a quick stitch from Heaven and Earth Designs or Hade. So this is Tranquil Tulip. I'll put in a, well, no, I won't because it's on the blog. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's on the blog, which is where you'll find the show notes and that um, there's a direct link to this week's show notes down below. So here is where I got to. I don't really remember where it was last time. That's also on the blog. Um, but basically, wherever I was, um, I finished up all of the 310. And yeah, because it was the beginning of October. So I, since you guys have seen it last, I finished up the rest of the 310 and I started on the next color with the most stitches, which is 939. Um, so I'm still, I'm basically just kind of filling in these outlines of the grass. So you can't, you can't really tell too much between 310 and 939 anyway. But yeah, so that's, that's coming along. Um, I was using this project for quarter four, a 90 day challenge with, in the full coverage fanatics group. Um, I got out after day 16, I think, because 
we had to work two weekends in a row and I missed just from those two weeks um those two weekends I missed eight days of stitching it was insane insane um and then the needle minder that I have on it is one that I got from Vicky of Stitch and Button <clears throat> Uh, called for DMCs and it's on 18 count Ada. I'm stitching that 2 over 1 full cross. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, I haven't worked on it since the 16th when um, I last touched it. So this next one is... Um, not it's this is not really the one it's supposed to be in but a lot of the colors in it were also in Thanksgiving another one of my whips so I just have all the colors in here and I had it on this Q snap um so I just stuff it back here this is a floss buddy flip that I got um from bags plus via Michelle Bindi because she is the U.S. distributor um for bags plus so it has the um, 45 pockets on this side, and then it has um, the clear pocket on this side. The new ones, um, there's Velcro right here. Um, that's why I'm like kind of pulling on it, and I keep forgetting it. This one was one of the first ones, so it doesn't have Velcro on it. Um, yeah, and it's just butterflies. So I have my floss colors and all of that back there. Anyway, so the project that is kind of hijacking that floss buddy right now. This is um, a new start that I had in October. Um, so this... Let me kind of crease it. Okay, so this is the Bofa sampler. I'll put in a picture here. Um... It's called the Bofa Sampler, and uh, I'm sure you can quickly find out where the Bofa part comes from. Bofa D's nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to. Um, so the pattern is from Armada Designs. She released this last year. It was either early this year or um, sometime in 2018 when she released this. But I had to have it. I just thought it was hilarious. Um, you guys know I, I love punny stuff like that. So um, it looks like your average sampler. The fabric's been like stuffed in the Q-snap. I just took it out of the Q-snap today. It's been stuffed in there weird for a couple weeks. So that's why the fabric's all wrinkly. There you go. That's a, that's a little better trying to flatten it out so you can see it better so it has the row of acorns at the top um, and then these little squirrels with their nuts and the trees were really fun to stitch as well um, yeah and then I just zoomed through uh, the sampler alphabet portion so all I have left now is the row of acorns along the bottom um, I seriously could have knocked them out so quick I just I started something else and then, of course, got distracted and never came back. So I'm hoping uh, that this one will be chosen sometime this month for my birthday sale. I'll explain that a little bit later, um, what I'm doing for that. But it is on the wheel. I'm hoping it'll get chosen so that I can just knock it out and finish it. Um, but if it doesn't get chosen, I think I'm going to try to um, set aside some time to finish it anyway. Because... It needs to be done. It's just too close to being done for it to have to wait. So yeah, um, one one change that I oh no two changes. So um, okay, first off, I'm using called for DMCs besides the two changes I'm about to tell you. I think. I I think yes yeah. Everything's called... Oh, sorry. Something's in my eye. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so everything is a called-for color except the two changes that I'll tell you in a second. 
I'm stitching this on 32 count river rock. It's not really showing up correctly. Uh, you're really just seeing more of the gray in it. Um, it's really more of a brown. Um, anyway, it's super gorgeous. I've been saving it for a while. Uh, it's one of the fabric of the months, fabrics of the month that I got while I was still in that club. Which hopefully I'll be joining that um, again in 2020. But anyway, so the two changes that I made to this uh, color wise, you can, yeah, hopefully you can kind of see that variegation in this line that's uh, zigzagging between the acorns up there. That is terracotta from uh, Color and Cotton. It's right here, right? Yeah, terracotta from Color and Cotton. Um, it just goes through lighter and darker shades, and I love it. Um, so that'll get used. Uh, there's a same the same line basically that goes in between the acorns at the bottom, and then oh, that's the other thing I still have to do. So in between uh, this top bit and the letters, right in here there is um, like a little band that goes across and it will also be in this color. Um, I haven't done that yet because since this is a variegated uh, yarn, I'm gonna, yarn, a variegated floss, I'm gonna um, stitch it one X at a time. Um, and like it just, like you kind of skip stitches and go across there. Um, so I'm just gonna do that part in hand um, and I'm actually gonna, stitch it this way left to right but anyway I'm doing that part in hand uh, and I just wanted to have everything else already done when I do that so I'm gonna finish the border at the bottom and then come back and do that in the middle and then it'll be done but I really don't have that much left to do on this so I just gotta get back to it um, I think that's everything I wanted to say about that Okay. All right. So next. Um, okay. Next, I started this um, on the twenty-first of October, which I don't think has any super giant significance. But anyway, I'm super stoked about this start and I'm keeping it everything has like fancy stuff right now <laughs> so uh, this is another floss buddy flip and you can see the velcro up there that I was talking about this one is gorgeous scissor fabric I oh I just love this so much the scissor fabric just makes me so happy y'all so um, yeah another one from bags plus and you can see I have um, so these flosses I just bought um, I wrote down uh, the floss list that I'll need for this this part. We'll get there. Uh, yeah, and then I have a couple of flosses that are still on these makeshift bobbins I had, so they're back there because they don't fit up here. And then colors for this intro. Okay, so I have posted about this one on Instagram, so you know if you follow me there. That is the best way to keep up with me when I post. I know I'm not always great about it, but that's the best place to keep up with me. Um, hmm. Let's talk about a few details first, and then we'll talk about the pattern. <laughs> so this is on 36 count. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll have to move that. Anyway, um... This is on 36 count doubloon, Edinburgh linen. Um, yeah, so colorway is doubloon, and it's hand dyed from Picture This Plus. So I have wanted to um, get a piece of doubloon and try it out for myself for a very long time because I just, it's gorgeous, y'all. I mean, you can you can see the modeling and stuff there, and it does look super great in in the camera. Um, I think it's blowing out just a tiny bit. It's just 
like it's got a toasty kind of feel to it and I just love it I love it so much <laughs> so yeah 36 count doubloon I'm also thinking um, that me and 36 count are about to be best friends I am really really enjoying 36 count and 18 count lately so I'm here for it I might be buying a lot more 36 count from now on um, plus you know it makes those really big pieces just a little bit smaller and I can deal with that so um, that's that this little heart needle minder is one that Vicky stitch and button uh, so sweetly sent me with one of my orders so um, I put that on here and okay so let's talk about the pattern if you are a giant Harry Potter fan and or you've just you know you pay attention to kinda of what people the um, big things kinda of going through the community this is the letters from Hogwarts stitch your own adventure so it's basically a mystery stitch along or not basically it is it's a mystery stitch along um, it's called letters from Hogwarts so I'll because these are new projects that the ones that you guys haven't seen before that's why I put in the pictures of those all the other ones are on the blog um, but I'll put in a picture of what the intro is gonna look like so this pattern is I'm gonna sit this down for a second my arms hurt um, so the pattern is designed by cunning cross stitch and um, you can find all of the stuff on the blogs um, on their blog it's a free pattern from what I can see I think all of it's gonna be free um, at least while it's coming out I'm not sure if they'll have it um, be something you have to pay for after but anyway so I'm sure I put in a picture by now but that is just the intro the border kind of thing um, so you've got the top bit with the train and the owls and house colors and the castle and stuff and then you could see the outlines of the parchment paper basically so um, that's one of the reasons why I went with doubloon because it definitely has a parchment coloring so that's what I wanted uh, for the letters so you can see there are six chapters starting January of 2020 we will I said that's so proper anyway we'll um we'll be getting a, a, one of the chapters every two months <clears throat> yeah so like I said it's a mystery stitch along it is a stitch your own adventure because there are spots in the pattern where you have to um, roll a die and that is how you make some of the decisions so in the intro the um, kind of stitch your own adventure part choose your own adventure was the wand uh, so there's six different front options and six different end options um, and there are also different color combinations based on what type of wood your wand is so uh, you roll the die three times one the first for your color what wood you have the second for what the front of the wand is the third for what the back of the wand is I rolled I think I re-rolled once for the front and a couple times for the end um, yeah I just you know it needs to be something I like and I didn't like the other options so I just kinda kept rolling until I got one I think I only had to roll for it like three times though so it wasn't that bad <laughs> whatever so um, yeah a lot of people have been uh, stitching up what their actual wand looks like on Pottermore I didn't feel like doing all that um, just in case it wasn't one of the options that the designer already had I knew I wasn't gonna feel like doing too much thinking so I didn't I didn't bother even looking yeah so that's kind of everything um, to tell you about the pattern like I said this is the intro part it came out um, September 1st actually on return to Hogwarts day which was kind of I'm sure it was planned <laughs> I'm sure 
Yeah, so I have gotten a pretty decent start here on the castle. I'm working, there are five colors. I love the way that the shading is done um, with these five colors. So I'm on, I'm on the third shade. Um, so I'm working from lightest to darkest, so that'll be fun. Um, working on the castle, basically. Because uh, I want to, in my Q-snap, this is what fit in the Q-snap perfectly. I worked in an 8x11, um, and I didn't want to, I'll probably do the same thing when I pick it back up. I don't want to move over to the other half of the um, header until I finish the castle. I just want to go ahead and get that done. So I'll be going back to that when I do pick it back up. Um, and then here, give you a little close up of the owl. So cute. Um, there have been a few people doing conversions on the owl as well. I can't remember the name of that one, but there's a different brown owl. Um, it's browner, this one's more creams. Um, there's a brown owl on there, someone did a gray owl, and someone did a snowy owl, which I will be um, using that idea because just in case, um, you know, Hedwig doesn't end up represented somehow, I want a snowy owl on this for Hedwig. So um, there's the owl at the other end, on the other side of the Hogwarts Express, and I'll make that one a snowy owl. So yeah. That is that, um, you know, working on it. Hopefully, the, the goal, I really, really want to stay on time with that one. I haven't really kept up with, whoops, I haven't really kept up with the stitch along since Adventure Awaits <laughs> from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And it would be nice to actually keep up with the sale again. So I'm hoping to have the borders and everything done for that by the time that chapter one comes out in January. So anyway, letters from Hogwarts. Next, another new start. I was not even completely sure if I was going to start this one um, during November. I knew that I wanted to start it before the end of 2019, but I hadn't even decided if it was going to be a birthday start on my birthday or if I was gonna start it during November at all like I said I hadn't even really gotten there um, and this is actually retail therapy so I bought this from um, the cottage needle on Etsy uh, I don't know if they have more copies but that's where I got it from I will take it out of the plastic <laughs> sorry crinkle Um, so this is Dead Man's Chess from Plum Street Sampler. It is a checker slash chessboard, and I love it. So um, I saw this being stitched by um, Jen of Quirks and Stitches during the last 24 Hours Marathon event. Um, yeah, the one in October. Uh, she was working on all dark. October projects and I can't remember if she started this one or she already had it as a whip but I saw it and I was like uh, yes I have to have that because I've wanted to stitch a game board for a while um, and I love chess anyway so this is perfect I'm super excited about it so uh, like I said that's retail therapy I've recently gotten that And um, the fabric just kind of worked out. So when I was buying fabric for Letters of Hog from Hogwarts, um, which the fabric that it's on, the picture this plus, is also retail therapy. So um, I think that I showed this one in the last episode. This is 36 Count Willow, also from Picture This Plus. See... <laughs> The way that this is showing up, I feel like, is what the bloom looks like. Anyway, so this is not showing up correctly at all. Um, if you have DMC 166 or 165, it's 165. 
If you have DMC 165, take that out, look at it. That's what color this fabric is. <laughs> um, so I had ordered this. This was the first fabric that I ordered for Letters of Hogwarts and um, I ordered it offline. It was not the color that it looked like on my computer screen. It wasn't the one I wanted. That's okay. Um, you know, fabric will always come in handy eventually. So it did in this case. So it's back in the plastic, but whatever. Um, so you guys can see this that's showing here is not a matte. That's the fabric. Um, it's kind of a beigey color. So in here, inside this border, because you can see all of the squares are full coverage. They're stitched in. Well, there's this gray, right, that runs around the tombstones on this outside edge. I am not stitching all of that. Like, this is not even basically. This is a full coverage piece, y'all. <laughs> um, this is completely a full coverage piece because all of that gray in there is stitched. I'm not stitching that. Um, I'm going to let this fabric color shine through because it it's bright and creepy enough that it totally feels like Halloween to me. So I'm just going to let the fabric shine through on that part. Um, I think that I will still stitch all of the squares in the middle and the tombstones and stuff. Um, I'm just not going to fill in that gray part. But anyway, so I this was my Halloween start on the 31st and I, as you can see, did not get much done. Um, it's 201 by 201, so I just got started with this strand. I think I'm going to keep just working across with it. Um, I'm just basically marking out the 201 stitches. So uh, it's DMC 310 that I'm using. So you can, yeah, you can see that. I'm just doing half stitches across and every 10th stitch, I like cross it the other direction so that I'll be able to just quick count 10. Yeah, so like I, like I said, I haven't done much with that. Um, I just barely got it started. I don't remember what I was doing that day. Oh, my parents were in town, so we went to the movies. We saw um, Gemini Man with Will Smith. Super worth seeing in the theaters. Um, if you were thinking about going to the theaters to see it, I totally recommend it. It was worth it. It was super good. Um, okay. Next. So this is actually the last whip. Um, and this will carry us into November. So let's stop for a quick second and talk about what I'm doing for my birthday sale. Um, and of course I don't have this pulled up. Oh, that's not even the right thing. So, um, for my birthday sale, I made a wheel on, oh, I, I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I just turned my brightness up. <laughs> Okay, so um, I made a wheel on a Decision Roulette. What was I about to say? Um, if you want the wheel app that you see everyone using, Decision Roulette is on Android and uh, Tiny Decisions is for iPhone. So anyway, I have a wheel, Ladywing turns 23, and I went through my whip list and just... All those projects that like really give me joy, um, all of that, you know, that I want to work on this month for my birthday, um, I put on the wheel. And I think that I had 15. Um, I ended up counting and stuff and I just kind of rounded it off at 15. There are 30 days in the month, so the plan hopefully will be to um, spin every two days. So if a project comes up and I work on it those two days, I absolutely love it. You know, I'm like, I hope I get to work on this again. I want to work on it more. I'm going to leave it on the wheel. If I work on it and I'm like, mm, you know, this is great, but I'm over it. Like, mm, I could probably not work on this again this month and it'll be okay. I'll take it off of the wheel so that it doesn't pop up again. I've worked on it. Hopefully got some progress. Um... I'm not going to make myself suffer. <laughs> it's my birthday month, people. I'm supposed to be happy. So, um, 
I didn't think that I was going to spin for the first and the second because I started Dead Man's Chess on the 31st and I generally like to um, work on projects for at least a couple of days and kind of get them going well which I clearly did not on that one but I ended up just not doing that yeah, anyway, so I ended up just not doing that. I'm remembering things now that I could have said, but it's not that important. Yeah, so I just ended up spinning the wheel, and I kind of spun, I think I spun two or three times, because another thing that I'm doing, sorry, there's like, just stuff, and it's bothering me. <laughs> not digging with my nose. Anyway, um, yeah, so another thing that I'm doing with my wheel is if I spin and I don't really like what I get I'll spin again um, but then if I don't really like what I get I get that third spin and like I kind of need to choose between the stuff that got chosen um, you know that's how we're gonna rock with it for right now something might happen where I need to change it later but hopefully it won't so anyway <laughs> all that to say the first project that I spawned for November was cardinal points um, which is good because it didn't get worked on in October like it was supposed to. So this project bag is from Linda Jo of Pretty Southern. My cute elephant bag and it's got the vinyl front. Over in here I have yet another floss buddy. Can you tell that these are my favorite thing? Um, to the point now where my mom is like, please, um, please help me get one like she really wants one because they're just amazing so um, right so floss buddy from bags plus this is a foldable one I think this is a 40 pocket yeah this is a 40 pocket um, I'm pretty sure anyway something close to that <laughs> um, Alice in Wonderland fabric moving right along if you want to see the colors they're so gorgeous I love this project. So this is Cardinal Points by Long Dog Samplers. And I am working on page two. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. Well, first let me show you where I am. Uh, so I've extended this vine, basically honestly. Um, I started in on this flower in here. That was fun to stitch. Oh my gosh, y'all. This urn was, it was just so much fun. I loved stitching that. I knew from the beginning that I was going to love it because it's got like a checkerboard. It, it's basically a checkerboard pattern, but it's four colors. There are three, um, other colors besides the black but anyway yeah I just loved stitching that that was super fun um, yeah and then here's the back if you want to see it of course there's a lot of dead space in this pattern not a lot but you know there's dead space in the pattern so um, I'm not carrying too much if I don't have to 18 count white Ada two over one um, the pattern is charted in gentle arts threads I did a DMC conversion a picture of that is on the blog um, on this web page needle minder is one that I got from Michelle Bendy and the Slytherin grime guard is from uh, silver moon sewing got it okay so I thought that I was gonna ugh, thought that I was going to use this for a magical stitches homework last week, and I ended up not doing that. Um, I won't go into it. I used it. I uh, used letters from Hogwarts for homework last week, um, but basically we had to do an acrostic spelling out Dumbledore because he left us at the end of the sixth book, um, the end of the sixth year. So we're um, somehow, oh my gosh, we've gotten to year seven in Magical Stitches. Um, 
So they actually ran the last year six homework into November, so it doesn't end until tonight at midnight, actually, because um, it's Sunday. So we'll actually be starting our first year seven homework this week. Um, or actually, they kind of, so they've already put us into year seven because there's a pop-up event that's actually due tonight. Um, at midnight also, it's through the same time as the homework, but there was a pop-up event, um, cause Charity Burbage, if, for those of you that remember, um, she died at the beginning of the seventh book, so, um, that was kind of the pop-up event. I don't even remember, I just barely read it, um, cause I'm not really planning on doing it, um, well, maybe, depending on what stitching time I get today. I still gotta edit <laughs> and all of that, but, um... Yeah, so anyway, we're on year seven, crazy. Uh, that's School of Magical Stitches and Literature. There will be a link to that and other groups, because I'll mention some later. Uh, those will all be linked in the show notes. But yeah, so I ended up not using it for homework. And then the 1st of November, I was supposed to work on this, and I didn't stitch at all. That was Friday. I didn't put in a single stitch that day. Um, that's a lie. I put in one stitch, but then realized that I didn't need it, so I took it back out. There were there were no stitches done that day, so <laughs> that was an interesting start to November, but whatever. So, um, yeah, this one really only got a day's worth of stitching, but I did almost get almost a thousand stitches in, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to go ahead and take it off with a Q-snap. Um, and just move on to the next project. So, I'll fix this up in a second. Don't fall. <laughs> okay, speaking of next project, I guess I could have gotten that out to show you guys. So we're going to hold on again. I might as well go get the project. Um, be right back. Okay, so, um... The next project that I, I went ahead and spun this morning for it, um, just so I would know what was next. I'm keeping it in this little small project bag. Um, I got it from Lou's Cross Stitch on Etsy. I don't think the shop is still there though. So this, my flosses are down in there. This is Quotes to Live By. It is, um, it's a pattern by Stitch Rovia slash Emma Congdon, and this is where I am right now. So, yeah, um, I think, I think what I'm going to do first is come up here and work. Oh, you guys can't see that. <laughs> Sorry! Um, I think I'm going to come up here and work in the header and finish that up. Um, yeah, I think. I think I might do that and then come over here, lead into the detail on this side, and then maybe I'll just work in hand and work on those borders some. I would really like to get the other side of the border done, actually. So I think that might be what I work on today. Um, I will need to go back to this block, and I do plan on doing that. Probably, I'm going to push to get the borders done, and then, um, because in part one with the header, this quote in the center here is part of that. So then I could maybe move the Q-snap back over, because I'm, uh, I'll probably put it in an 8 by 11 Um, but then I could work on this block, and alternate with all the backstitch that still has to be done in this block. There's still a good bit. But that's okay. I know it's going to be awesome when it's done. I'm just not quite ready. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then I also have to finish this block as well. So, yeah. I'm not too worried about finishing that block, though. Um, I think I want to work in a different area for right now. But yeah, so that's the um, craving it as far as stitching because I will be getting to that after I edit and everything, get this uploading. I'll be um, going into that project. So last November for my birthday, 
Okay, so this is kind of a two-year-long tradition. I I want to say it was 2017. Maybe it wasn't. When did Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life come out? I don't remember. But anyway, um, when that was gearing up, because they were talking about it coming out, I binge-watched all seven seasons of Gilmore Girls, and then um, around my... Because the A Year in the Life special came out, like, the day before my birthday that year. And so I got to binge-watch all of those, and it was great. Last year, um... I, wa I binged watched through the month of November the entire Harry Potter series, obviously. Um, I had seen those before, though, so, you know, I was re-watching all of those. Um, and then that also included Fantastic Beasts, and I wanted me and my boyfriend, because he watched them with me, because he'd never seen all of them, um, which is not allowed, so I made him watch them all, too. And then uh, we watched the first Fantastic Beasts, and the second one came out last year. So I wanted us to go to the theater and watch that. That never happened. Um, and since we binge watched Harry Potter last year, I would have redone it again this year by myself. I was supposed to, but I just didn't get to it. And I don't think I'm going to. Um, but we're going to rewatch the first Fantastic Beast. And then I um, just ordered my DVD of Crimes of Grindelwald, which is the second one. So we're going to watch this, and then um, I think we're going to binge watch The Fast and the Furious, <laughs> which is not, it's like nowhere near a favorite anything of mine at all, um, but I do enjoy the movies from that series that I've seen, and I figure I might as well like binge watch. I think we have binge watched all of them, or started to, tried to at some point um, when he was still staying with me, so... Anyway, you know, just something kind of carefree. I don't really have to care about it all that much. I can get a lot of crafting done and still feel like I binge watch something for my birthday. So, whatever. So, that's really the only other craving it type thing. It's an entertainment standpoint. Okay, so October recap. Um... So much. Okay, October. There was not a lot happening in October, y'all. So this is my stitchy notebook. I keep up with my stitch counts. And I don't think that I told you guys the total and average from September. Um, so you can see it's just a little calendar thing. Um, and I put in the stitches that I do for every day. So the lines, this is October, uh, the lines mean that there weren't, there wasn't any stitching that day. So you can see I had eight days from October that I didn't stitch. Super sad. Oh well. And then I started out in November with one, but that's okay. Um, so September I stitched 1,300, 700 stitches. Maybe I did tell you guys this. And then I had an average of 456, 457 stitches per day. Um, so when I do the averages, I do include the days that I don't stitch. Um, I divide the total by the number of days in the month, not the number of days that I stitch. Um, yeah, okay, and then October was 9,988 stitches. So those eight days really, that really impacted it. Um, and that averages to 322 stitches a day. So still decent averages. I had a couple days in there that definitely helped out. Um, but there was one day where I only had two stitches. Like, you know, just the way the world works. Um... I don't think I had anything else in this one to show you guys. Just the totals. So October here is... Hold on. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, here is... <laughs> the chart for October. It's so blank, y'all. <laughs> Oh man, so um, you can see where I marked the two projects over here that I UFO'd. 
this one technically was UFO today, but I just wrote it on October so that I wouldn't have to write it on November's. Um, and then, like I said, butterfly effect. I had two page finishes um, on Hogwarts Castle. Those were at the beginning of the month. I had four new starts. Um, so Tranquil Tulip, Bofa Sampler, Letters from Hogwarts, and... Um, Dead Man's Chest is down here because I started it on Halloween. So, down there in the corner. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, I didn't finish any whips last month. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to show you Stitch from Stash, which I did good again this month. I forgot to highlight this. Because I did end in the black. So I'll just open this and show you. Um, so October is just down here and this little bit up here. I really did not, oops, I didn't finish much or purchase much in October. Um, so I only spent $40.50 and I got a little bit over $8 for credits. Yeah. So, like I said, we're in the black. 73. Although it's close to 100 when I added in the 25 for November. So, doing pretty good on that. Magical Stitches. I did um, half of the homework in October. Whoops, I don't need to close this. I did half of the homework in October. Um, I just didn't... There were a couple... It was the two weeks where I was super busy, actually, with work and school. Because I had a bunch of tests. Um, midterm season happened in October. So I had tests in all of my classes. And we've most of them have got projects going. So those two weeks um, were the two weeks that I didn't do the homework for Magical Stitches. But hopefully, I haven't even looked at this uh, new week's homework for the 4th through the 10th. I'm going to look at that a little later today. And hopefully, I like <laughs> what it is so that I'll participate in that. Um, and I just put my show notes away, so that's not helpful. Uh, okay, I think the only thing that I have left now is retail therapy, and it's going to be super quick. So I don't remember, um, first of all, I got another 11x11 11 11 Q-snap and an 8x8 Q-snap because I'm going to break them apart and make, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to separate them and make two more 8x11 Q-snaps. Um, so that's that. The next thing on my to-buy list is some more Grime Guards. Um, but then the other thing that I got... Is her name on here? Yes. Okay, good, because I didn't remember. Um, so this is the one that I saw someone had on one of the cross-stitch groups on Facebook. If you watch Law & Order SVU, the little blurb that they say at the beginning that's what that is you don't have to read it well I will I'll read it in a second but that's what that is um and I just had to have it me and my mom love SVU it's the only law and order we'll watch um it has to be SVU and my mom actually I think went back and uh binged from the very beginning so she's seen all of the episodes I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe there's a couple seasons she couldn't find, but she's seen all of the episodes. Um, so yeah, it's a TV screen, and then it's got that little blurb there. Um, and this is these are both from Millie Pins. I'll make sure that's on the screen, too, just in case you can't see it. Um, and it's an Etsy shop. And so, of course, I showed my mom that, and then naturally we both went to the shop and saw if there was anything else we liked. Um... And the only other thing that I really needed to have, I don't even know why I'm, well, I guess I'll take it out. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's another TV. It's an old-timey TV. Old-timey. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess current technology, yes. But if you watch Stranger Things, it's set in the 80s, so it's a TV that they would have had in the 80s, right? Anyway, um, and it's got the Stranger Things logo on there. So I had to have that because love Stranger Things. 
Um, it kind of made me laugh, though. My mom was like, oh, I need the Stranger Things one, too. It's like, yeah, you're all over Stranger Things now that she and my dad have finally watched it. Um, they finished season three before me and my boyfriend did. It was kind of funny. But yeah, so that's the retail therapy. And um, I'm going to take these and some more of my pins home for Christmas. And uh, me and my mom are going to make some needle minders because... I I need some more needle minders and I have all these pins that I want to make into needle minders so chop chop right let's get to it and speaking of let's get to it let's get to stitching y'all um, to crafting in general so that is everything for this week thank you all so so much for always coming back and liking subscribing commenting just generally interacting with me on um, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Ravelry, wherever. I love it. Um, yeah, so thank y'all so much. And until next time, happy crafting, y'all. Bye.